I've uh, just dropped the boys off and just back out here where I caught that last blackfish. What are you up to? Yeah, I'm just going to um, grab a bit of sand off the sandbar here and mix up a bit of burley actually. Yeah, see if I can get them going a bit. No, this is a different spot that we've fished all together. Oh, I don't know, I've got three downs and three drifts, so... There might be a few about, I think. So I've just jumped out on the sandbar here. I've got a plastic bag and on. Gonna build up to these blackfish. I'll see you with the boys there. Um, having a bit of a, uh, a fish, and I just decided I'll chuck a bit of weed out and see if there's any about. And, Picked up one straight away and then uh, missed another couple, so I'm going to grab up some sand here um, in a bag and then we're going to chop up some weed and mix it all together and just see if I can get these fish to uh, to come on a bit because they've been a bit hit and miss, we're sort of getting one and then we're moving to get another one and so I want to see if I can um, see if I can really get them going, so hopefully it's not too deep. I've just got the um, motor guide there on spot lock holding us in place. Uh, See how we go. I'm going to a shallow bit. it up and mash it up in there and get the burly going. We'll chuck in a dab of the gulp gel too. It's a good measure. I've made a mess of my boat, but I don't really care. It's for fishing. It gets messy, it gets washed, and we catch more fish. Put that all up in there. Take a little hole in the bottom. Drain that water out. Cracking day out here today. Too good to be heading in just yet. It's a good part of the run in time, but we've got a good run through here. Not too much boat traffic, but it is holiday time. And there's our burly in there. Poke on down with the electric, over the sandbar. And we're heading for those racks just there. With the weed growing alongside them. They love that uh, ribbon weed stuff and, and, the, and the racks gives them a bit of protection. Looking so. good through here. There's a little bit of uh, discoloration in the water which is good. We don't want it too super clear. And. Um, I reckon we might get into a couple here. Old Jarvis Walker stick that I've had since I was about nine years old, I think I got this one. 30 years ago. I've had to do a bit of a, uh, a refurb on it the other day when I came up because I haven't fished for blackfish for that long. And it's sort of been sitting there in the shed and it's had a couple of, uh, couple of the eyelets that have been uh, punished and missing, so... But she's all good to go in here. We'll get a bit of burly. I'm just going to get a good handful, chuck it upstream a bit. That's going to carry that weed and that scent back down to where we're drifting. 
hopefully get these fish cracking. Oh, there's a bite right there. Got him. Get out of there, you mongrel. Oh, I know where the cover is. I think I'm striking a bit early too because you can see that float there, it's only a lightweight float. Doesn't take much to dip it under, so I might just. There's another touch there. I might just let them have it for a bit longer, I think. Let them find the hook themselves, type of thing. That's a fish. Yeah. Right, once he's clear of the structure there, we'll take it a bit easier. There he goes, back to the post. Oh, just missed it. It's a bit smaller, that one. That's all right, though. Keep them coming. Pretty basic uh, outfit we're using. A little rubber stopper there. Just a uh, quill float type thing. Bought down the local tackle store there at the main street of Foster. A couple of splitties. And a little blackfish up there. I don't know what length this rod is. 2.85 metres. Whippy sort of a rod. A blackfish rod. Now I've just got a little 2500, just one of my spin reels I use for all the other spinner. The illegal size fish there, but um, we're going to get bigger ones, so we'll let him go. Thank <laughs> you. 
crust. Dump it over that way. Dump this one back over. It just hangs. Hangs down. The chunky bit's actually above your bend. So it tightens up your uh, bend at the hook for the fish to be able to. The fish to be able to. Uh, Better one too. <sighs> Seriously, these hooks just aren't cricket. I'll try a different one. Steady as she goes. 